Good morning. So in previous videos, we had a very quick look at creation. And from that, I have concluded that God and Jesus Christ are the ultimate in scientists. But what's interesting is that when Jesus came to earth, he didn't teach us science. Instead, what he said was this, and it's in John 13. He said, I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also must love one another. By this love you have for one another, everyone will know that you are, are my disciples. So this was the most important thing of all, was that we have a Christ-like love for our brothers, not only for our brothers, but for everybody in the world. So does it matter what we teach? Well, the Apostle Paul, uh, when writing to Timothy in chapter 4, verse 16, he said, take, sorry, he said, take great care about what you do and what you teach. Now, there's an example of this in the Australian Royal Commission. Now, that commission got to learn that when abused people came to elders, they weren't treated properly. They weren't believed. They weren't allowed to go to the police. They were treated so badly that some of them felt they had to leave the organisation. So the judge was looking at this. And here we are. I have the printout from the end of the report from the Commission. Now, the Australian elders stated this. Um, a person who disassociates, he or she can choose to be no longer an active member of the congregation. Now, the judge said this. I understand that, but if they are so unable to cope with what has happened and the way they've been treated inside the organisation, that they disassociate, then they lose all of their previous social structure. Is that right? And the Australian elder said, well, that could be the case. It's always the case if they disassociate. So the judge said, it's a pretty cruel way of dealing with someone, isn't it, who has suffered abuse? So... There was nothing the elders could say to that, except he said, well, I can only repeat what I've said. So the judge said, I know, but it's cruel, isn't it? To take away by reason of the rules that you impose all of their social structure. That's cruel. Now, that was the most dreadful thing a judge could say about Watchtower's judicial system. It brought great reproach on Jehovah's name. And it's no wonder that there are people who can't bear the name of Jehovah by reason of what Watchtower is doing. So what they're teaching and the rules that they impose, it's a form of revenge, really. Oh, well, you didn't do what we told you. You couldn't put up with the way we treated you. So now you've disassociated and we're going to take away all your social structure. That's hardly in line with what Jesus said to love one another. Would we be willing to give up our life for one of these young victims of child abuse? Well, we ought to be able to. And I'd like to think that we would. But throwing them out of the congregation is not in line with what Jesus said. So what has gone wrong here? Well, in Proverbs, it shows the great need for insight and knowledge. And the insight that's needed here is to understand how devastating abuse is for young people. It destroys their lives. Watchtower believes you can get over it. Oh, just do this, this and this and you'll be fine. No, it will always affect your life from then on. So there's that. And then there's this uh, viewpoint that they have the authority 
to say whether someone can or cannot go to the police. Their authority got in the way of the scriptural verse, which shows that the governments are the ones to deal with these crimes. And the government, we hope, would deal with it in a far nicer way, uh, hopefully, to help these people. They don't always, of course, but we would like to think it would be a lot better. So let's just look at what Jesus did for us. He died for everybody. He paid the price of our sin. And most important for us is he opened the way for us to be able to discuss things with Jehovah God directly, well, through Jesus Christ and what he did for us. We have access to the highest authority in the universe and we have access to everything that God possesses and all the power that God possesses in which he can help us. He is the only one who can help these victims. And I, I understand it might not be of much help to them until the end of the world comes and there's a better hope for us all. So thank you very much for watching this morning.